For Jess Daniel, it all started as word of mouth amongst friends. And now this hip home cook's underground business is bringing healthy meals to busy Aucklanders from her flagship store, JUK Hoon Bay. Jess's first cookbook, My Underground Kitchen, features more than 80 recipes for home cooks. And she's currently writing her second cookbook as well. Kia ora Jess, no mate. Mwah. So good to see you again. I always get excited. Kei konea Jess. If you're here, then life's good. How te kai teneira? So I'm just going to get straight into it because I just want to know what amazing thing you're going to make. Well, we've got a few little twists today. We're doing a pizza, but not as you know it. It's going to be made with cauliflower. Ooh. So it's gluten free. How ha kei runga nga parehe? And what about toppings wise for this te parahe e harai te parahe, the pizza that's not a pizza. So we're going to start with a classic pomodoro pizza which is tomato, basil and mozzarella. Then we're going to do a prosciutto blue cheese and caramelised onion and finish off with a pesto prawn and avocado pizza which is dairy free. And more way way under the waha, my mouth's actually watering. <laughs> good, that's a good start. I had tohu pai. How hard the kai tsuarua? And what is our second dish again? We're going to make a simple orzo pasta salad, which can be served hot or cold, and some lovely chicken tenderloins here, which we're going to bake in a honey, rosemary, mustard sauce, which is really tangy and delicious. Ah, kwa takate kapa. I remember now, this is actually in your first cookbook, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Both recipes are in my first cookbook, so yeah. Then tiro here, and when you get a chance, you can have a look in the cookbook because we've got bits of food all over the pages. Uh, <laughs> Which well shows used. that we used it. Yeah. That's good, I like to hear that. Ka pai e hoa. So first what we need to do, Stacey, is prep our cauliflower for the cauliflower pizza base. So you're not going to believe this, it's got three ingredients. Kwana noyo. Cauliflower, egg and parmesan cheese. One big cauliflower here. If you turn the oven onto 180, please. Alright, kotahiro, waru the kai. But what we're going to do, if we bring the food processor over, Alright. So we're just going to put this straight in here like this. Ponga man nui nei te raru, these big guys. Yeah, almost in there. What we can do to help that, if you put the lid back on, Stace, and we'll just pour a bit of water in. Perfect. So if you scrape that into the bowl, it looks like slop now. Aye. But it will be lovely and crispy, <laughs> I promise you. All set. The wahuano, so we do the same thing. I mean, you almost wouldn't guess at this point that this is cauliflower. Or pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Potential pizza. All right. Okay. So that's a lovely big cauliflower. So I reckon you could do this on the stove top as well, but for convenience, I'm just going to throw it in the microwave and I'm going to give it 10 minutes, I think, Stace. I thought we'd split them into a couple of bowls so I we can both squeeze. And then I've just got a clean chucks cloth. Now yeah, hole, so it's a new one. It's a new one. I haven't been doing the dusting with this, don't worry. So if we just line the sieve, even though it's a fine sieve, that's going to help us drain as ah. much liquid out of the cauliflower as possible. I'm just going to carefully spoon this into the middle of the chucks. Now, if we kind of gather up all the corners of this, Look at that former ball. And without burning yourself, just sort of give it a <laughs> gentle squeeze. Ta ho ho itenewa, so it's quite squishy. But it's satisfying too. It's so good. See how that's almost like a dough now? Mm. So the cauliflower's cooked, but now we want to add just a couple of key ingredients to bind it all together for when we bake it in the oven. One egg. And the other thing that we're going to add is some parmesan cheese. So I reckon a couple of decent handfuls in there. Salt and pepper. We're going to give that a big stir. Okay. So if we divide this into four, we're just going to push them down and tidy up the sides so we've got a nice round Matotore. mini pizza. So we can pop these in the oven. I reckon they're going to need about 20 minutes to crisp up. And then we'll pull them out and put our toppings on. Jeez. 
porohita paruhi hoki perfect You did pretty well, <laughs> Stacey. Look, they're like lovely and crispy. Nice. And see how they're holding together. So, would you like to start with the tomato one? And I'll do the same over here with this onion jam. Oh, yeah. Yeah. These are going to smell so good in a couple of minutes. They already do. <laughs> So, if we put some pesto on the bottom of each. Oh, wow. A few prawns on here. Right. And give them a bit of colour. Now, I have left the tails on these because I like the way they look, but you can always <laughs> take the tails off. Then we put the avocado on last yeah. week. And yeah. the spring onion. I do have a bit of an issue with cooked avocado, I don't know why. Because I really like you, I'm not going to elbow you out of the way. <laughs> we can have a board each, Stacey, it's fine. It looks so good as a pizza too. I know, look at that. We better give this a go. Mm. Mm. Cheesy, healthy and delicious. As you say, that's just a little bit of a starter because we're onto the chicken. Yes, shall we get started? Aye. So, I've got some fresh rosemary from the garden. So, if you wouldn't mind stripping the leaves off mm -hmm. for me and then giving them a rough chop, and I'm going to crush three cloves of garlic. I've got those three cloves of garlic that I've crushed. We've got the fresh rosemary that smells amazing. We're going to use half a cup each of whole grain mustard and Dijon mustard mm -hmm. just to give it some great flavour. A cup of honey to make it sticky and delicious. A squeeze of lemon. And then we're just going to loosen the marinade with two or three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Now the kakara. That smells so good. Looks so good. Wow, that's easy. Simple, huh? So I'm just going to lay these in the pan. There we go. And then if you just spoon that delicious marinade over the top, so that's all we have to do. That's all we have to do. Throw it in the oven. You weren't even lying. I suppose you could do it. You do everything. kai. <laughs> so while that's cooking, what do we need to do? So I was thinking today we'd serve the honey mustard chicken with a nice fresh orzo salad. And I've also got a pot of water on to boil because we're going to just quickly steam some broccolini and get some extra green veg in there too. So I've pre-cooked some orzo. If we pour this into the bowl. And no hekakano, they actually look like seeds Lovely. almost, don't they? They do. Let's pour a drizzle of olive oil in there. We're just going to dress it in the bowl. So I've also got some baby kale leaves that I'm going to add just to add a little bit of extra green to this. Give that a good toss together for me, Stacey. And I am going to chop some parsley and some coriander. Iada, so every day, how many meals are you generally doing? Up to 200 a day. Wow. Yeah. When we make the salad, we use a kilo of coriander and a kilo of parsley. A kilo? <laughs> oh. <laughs> a little bit different. Uh, okay, tafitsu, that's, yeah, the next level. <laughs> That's perfect. So, when it comes to serving, how are you going to do this? We'll plate up the orzo salad into this, pop some chicken on top with a few spoonfuls of the delicious sauce, and then add the green vegetables on the side. Hakai mate mate, that just looks amazing and perfect. I'm already impressed because of how long it didn't take to yes. cook. <laughs> koe a as usual, I can't concentrate, I just want to eat. Good bye. Try it, Stacey, let me know what you think. What about, you just want it just al dente when it comes to the broccolini? I think so. I like them to still have a little bit of crunch to them, so you, they're still green and you can still taste the freshness. Mm. Wow, mm. that combo's perfect. Delicious, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. You get the slightly sort of woody flavours yeah. of the rosemary coming through. Yep. But you can actually taste everything in it. It's got that beautiful coating, just the taste, just a hint of the mere. Don't really taste the honey. No. I hope you can tell by the pictures because this is just perfect. And as you say, I think the kids will love it. I definitely love how easy, delicious, and beautiful it is. Ticking all the boxes. That's what you always do. Yeah. Healthy midweek meal. Love it, Jess. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I will. I'm a pig myself. <laughs>